name is Pascal Gibbon and I am delighted to welcome you to the Everyday Life Balance Show, the podcast for men and women who want to create more balance and harmony in their life on the mental, physical and spiritual level. Every Monday, you get access to insights, practical tools and strategies on well-being, personal development, life fulfillment and success from experts in their field and from me, your change catalyst. It is my mission to guide you to happiness and help you find greater joy, inner peace and balance. This is an invitation to you, the listener, to transform your life one step at a time. Hello, my beautiful listeners. A warm welcome to the Everyday Life Balance Show. I'm Pascal Gibbon, your host, and it's a joy to have you with me for episode 325. Today, we are addressing a challenge many of us face in our goal-achieving journey, overcoming procrastination alongside other common obstacles that might be blocking your path to success. One major roadblock to achieving our goals is inaction. You might have your goals perfectly written down, but the real question is, are you taking the necessary step towards them? Are you focused and disciplined, or do you find yourself getting distracted? Procrastination, the art of delaying or postponing paths, is a familiar struggle. It's not simply about being lazy. It often stems from fear. Fear of failure, imperfection, or even success. To overcome these challenges, let's examine some fruitful strategies. Start by breaking down your goal into smaller, manageable tasks. Ask yourself, what is the first step you need to take? Then, set clear deadlines for this task. A deadline is a powerful motivator that helps you complete your task within the allotted time. Consider making these deadlines public, as accountability can significantly boost your commitment. A personal development plan is essential to confront and overcome your fears and limitations. It helps you set goals, identify areas for improvement, and create an actionable plan to achieve personal growth. Engaging with resources like success principles, books, can be life-changing. Reflect on what is holding you back and confront these fears head-on. If you need support, don't hesitate to reach out. Send me a message on social media or email me at pascal at pascalgibbon.com for access to my Face Your Fear 5-Day Challenge. Beyond procrastination, we often encounter hurdles like a lack of clarity, leaving us directionless. Remember, a goal without a plan is merely a wish. Embracing change, though daunting, is vital for growth and breaking free from limiting paradigms. In our distraction-filled world, creating a focused environment is essential. To this end, it's necessary to eliminate notifications Find a quiet space and dedicate a specific time to your task. Self-doubt, too, can be a formidable obstacle. Counter this by affirming your capabilities and recalling your past successes. Remember, action breeds confidence. You might be uncertain about the outcome, but you won't know until you try. Lastly, don't forget the power of patience and persistence. The journey to achieving your goals may not always be smooth, but each small step forward counts as a victory. Remember to celebrate your progress, no matter how small it may seem. Keep pushing forward continuously. As we conclude today's episode, I want to remind you that overcoming procrastination and other obstacles begins with a decision. The decision to act, to believe in yourself, and to fully embrace your journey towards your goal. I have unwavering faith in you, my dear listeners. You possess the strength to overcome these challenges and achieve remarkable things. 
Until our next meeting, let's keep advancing step by step. Let's continue to balance, harmonize, and thrive on our goal achievement journey. I'm sending you an abundance of love and light. I look forward to connecting with you next Monday. Remember, the journey towards your goals is as meaningful as reaching your destination. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for reviewing and rating the Everyday Life Balance podcast on iTunes. And thank you for subscribing to this podcast so that you can continue to get training each time I release a new episode. I look forward to connecting with you next week. And as always, yes, you can dream it, create it, live it.